seven often overlooked fragrances that are actually quite good. Let's talk about it. Hello people, my name is Nixon Dyson. You are watching Smelly Cat. Thanks in advance for liking, sharing and subscribing and even hitting that bell icon. Uh, if at any point in this video you feel that this is moving too slowly for you, I would suggest you uh, increase the speed to 1.25x or 1.5x. Thought I'd make a quick list of seven random underrated fragrances. These are fragrances that either don't have a very flattering uh, fragrantica or perfumo rating or they are not as popular as other fragrances from the same house. But they're still really good fragrances that deserve a little more love. So without wasting any more time, let's go into the list. Uh, this is in no particular order. Actually, it's in a, the order that it is in is just the order that they came into my mind. So let's move to the list. Let's start with the Middle Eastern brand. Uh, one that actually I haven't covered a lot of uh, in my reviews. I'm hoping to change that because they have quite a few good scents. And one of them, which is quite underrated, is called Voila from the Wow series. Now, Walla means uh, liking or fondness, but it also means faithfulness and fidelity. So uh, for those who are Arabic speakers uh, and Arabic is your first language, let me know which one it is. I think it could be, uh, you know, that liking and fondness because that makes more sense for a, uh, the name of a scent. Walla is a citrus aromatic that will remind you of PDM's Perceval. I actually prefer this to Percival to be honest and that is for uh, a couple of reasons. Number one, there's a teenager's deodorant sort of vibe in uh, PDM's Percival which I do not get in this one. I'm not quite sure what that note is, probably the musk. Secondly, when it comes to the quality, this is at par with uh, PDM's Percival but this is available at one fifth the price. And the third point is this one performs a little better on my skin at least than Percival. Not beast mode or anything, but uh, in terms of performance slightly, this one has the edge over Percival. Another Swiss Raven on the list, this one is called Rose 01. And this one is their take on Parfums de Mali's Delina or Delina Exclusive. But here's the thing, it does start off a lot like Delina. It is mostly like Delina, Delina Exclusive, but in the dry down, there's a very oud satin mood feel in this one. Now, amber and benzoin aren't mentioned as notes on this one, but the dry down has a very, uh, what do you call it? A rich, deep and warm vanilla, amber, benzoin-like uh, feel to it. That is what probably gives it that uh, oud satin mood feel to my nose. If you remember recently, I've done a review on Club de Nuit Imperial, the new Club de Nuit flanker, which is also like Delina. Personally, I feel that I prefer this one over Imperial. The next one is from Nishani. Now I've got uh, Hachiwat, Ani, uh, Wulong Cha, Ambre Calabria, uh, 100 Silent Ways, Fanny of Flames, and all are excellent scents. That's why I own them. But here's one Nishani that sort of flies under the radar. I'm talking about Nishane's Safran Colonize or Safran Colonize or Safran Colonize. Uh, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. I've seen people say it in different ways. I just say Safran Colonize. But this one is one, like I said, that just flies under the radar. And I don't think a lot of reviewers on YouTube have also sort of hyped this up uh, as much as it deserves. This one is a classy scent. It's a warm weather leather scent. So you know that there aren't many of those out in the market. Fizzy freshness in the opening. The, uh, the saffron in this is treated very differently from how saffron is usually used in many other fragrances. The magnolia in it gives it a bit of a sensual touch you could say and there's something vegetal and green going on in the background as well which makes it very unique this one is gonna stand out in the crowd one because it does have a significant presence in the air and second because there aren't many scents that smell like this so yeah definitely underrated and definitely worth a try if you haven't tried it yet 
The fourth one on the list, you've probably never heard of this one, even though you've probably heard of the brand that this one is from. I'm talking about Ahmad Al Maghribi. Now, a lot of people do know quite a few scents from Ahmad Al Maghribi. There's leather, there's Bidun Assam, there is uh, Oud Lavender, Oud and Roses, and most recently, a lot of people are talking about Bin Shake. But there's one scent that I find is one of their best scents and that one is summer oud yes ahmed al maghribi's summer oud now i have around 8 to 10 in fact even more maybe 12 to 14 cents from ahmed al maghribi but this one is my favorite out of all of them and it's not even the most expensive right now if i had to do a top 10 middle eastern fragrances list whether it's on a budget or not, this would definitely be up there uh, on the list at least, maybe in the top five as well. Uh, one of the best finds that I've uh, come across uh, this year or last year, 2022. Now, I didn't find uh, the notes for this one on Fragrantica, uh, not even on their website. It's called Summer Oud, but that is sort of misleading. This isn't a summer Oud fragrance. This isn't super fresh with like an oud backbone what my nose gets is yes there is some bergamot and orange on top and then there's rose caramel amber and oud so think of a sweet citrus on top with a smooth and creamy amber and caramel um, and then this very subtle oud all throughout the fragrance this is not a summer only fragrance in fact i would say that this can be worn all year round avoiding summer afternoons maybe if the summer evenings are cooler then this one is delicious now i had to had to include this on my list because just recently i wore this to work and i was coming back home and this is probably the end of the day right um i was in a lift with this emirati old very cute emirati gentleman um we were on our way down to the to the parking and then he asked me what perfume i was wearing because it reminded him of his grandson who is now studying in the us so this one i would say is middle eastern yet very modern absolute value for money 35 dollars i think around 35 dollars is what i picked it for it's a 65 or 60 ml and this one and <laughs> sorry and this one performs like crazy 12 to 14 hours enormous projection uh summer oud by ahmad al maghribi number five on the list is louis Cardin secret this is so affordable that it is easy to write off uh ignore the hideous <laughs> bad quality bottle but honestly in terms of the scent even though it is very simple, very one dimensional, this actually works quite well. Yes, yes, it's very sweet. It's a little synthetic uh, in the opening, especially. Uh, but in the air, it's got this Moorish quality to it. People around you are intrigued when you're wearing this. Honestly, up close, maybe you might not like it for being too sweet, like I said, or just it's too flat, one dimensional. But in the air, it's got this, it's got something that intrigues people because every time I've worn this, I do get comments like, you know, why does it smell like chocolate in here? Or uh, who's got brownies to office today? I'm not kidding. I might sound like I'm exaggerating, but almost every time I worn this scent, uh, you know, people can notice it a and second they will think that you're probably you know someone's got free dessert to office or you know something delicious is around them but actually it is uh, this scent now you might not want to smell like that that's your choice but if you want to grab attention uh, and if you enjoy these kind of scents then definitely Louis Cardin by uh, sorry sacred by Louis Cardin is one of the underrated ones Sixth on the list is Bentley's Silver Lake for Men. Closest thing you can get at the moment to Aqua di Gia Essenza. It is a little more floral, a little more amber woody. Uh, it is not exactly the same as Essenza. It doesn't perform like Essenza used to, but to me at least, this one is 
much better than Aquadigio or their Perform, which many believe to be a replacement to Essenza. I would say save your money, don't get the Ode Perform to replace Essenza. Instead, get this one. Again, like I said, not a replacement to, um, to Essenza, but comes quite close. Next one and the last one on the list is from the niche house of Essential Perfumes and it's called Orange X Santal. While Boa Imperial, Divine Vanille, Nice Bergamot to an extent get a lot of attention from this house, I feel that a lot of people are sleeping on Orange X Santal. I was lucky enough to visit their flagship store in Paris and while I was down, very honestly, to pick Boa Imperial, <laughs> I instantly fell in love with the opening of this one. Probably the most natural feeling orange uh, that I've come across, which I wish lasted a little longer. Uh, but you know, after that it has this green tea and then almost for most of the scent journey, you'll get this very creamy, powdery, almost lactonic sandalwood scent. Also, kudos to the house for the pricing. This 100ml is not just this, the entire range, all our 100ml and all are available for 75 euros only. At least I remember picking them for 75 euros. And uh, that is almost unheard of for a niche brand. So hats off. That brings us to the end of the video. If you haven't done it yet, like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon and uh, let me know let me know what are some of the underrated scents that you like use but you think that people aren't talking uh, about or aren't mentioning enough let me know in the comments and until next time keep smelling amazing